Now, I have uh, talked about this in the past as well, but I thought I'll probably uh, make uh, one more video on this uh, topic uh, of uh, fetching the custom field or doing something with the custom fields using uh, the names along with IDs. Now, if you have been watching my script runner for cloud videos or maybe automation videos or maybe the videos that I made uh, using uh, using uh, nothing but uh, REST API, I have talked about uh, updating issues, especially if you have to update, uh, let us say, uh, you have to update custom fields. So there was a question on my on my uh, service test about uh, doing something with the issue based on uh, the custom field ID or name. I didn't really understand the, the question properly, but uh, I thought I'll probably answer it uh, covering all the aspects. So let us first start with the uh, Jira server. If you're on Jira server, and you are using the Java APIs using script now for Jira, you have option, you have a capability of uh, accessing or doing something with the custom field using either name or either using uh, the ID of the custom field. And, uh, and if I maybe show you the, show you the, uh, I mean, if you want to, learn about uh, those scripts uh, you can of course take a look at my videos and um, especially my github repository where i have talked about uh, different uh, uh, ways of fetching the custom field so you can take a look at this script where i'm talking about custom field object by name and uh, maybe the other script will probably show you how to fetch the custom field using id so this is of course one way of doing it on jira server using apis but if you're on cloud, you can, of course, do things with custom field by using custom field ID. If you refer to the REST API documentation, you have to use the IDs because that is unique, I guess, and that actually makes sense. But uh, if you're talking about uh, the names, let, let us say you, you're, you have written a script where you're doing something with the custom field, but uh, maybe you want you don't know the custom field ID. So there are a couple of ways of finding, I think more than a couple of ways of finding the custom field ID. You can... Uh, definitely use uh, the old trick when you go to the custom field page and when you try to edit the custom field or maybe when you do inspect element you can also take a look at the id of the uh, html element and uh, you can figure out the id it is not really difficult but uh, the best way of doing it is of course using the rest api so yes you can uh, fetch the custom field id of a custom field using rest api so in case you're doing it using a script you have to make two rest calls one to get the ID of the custom field using the name. Let us say if you have written a script where you just want to mention the name, not the ID, which makes sense. You can then use this endpoint called REST, of course, uh, Jira URL and um, REST slash API slash three slash field. And uh, when you do this, you will get all the custom fields that you have in your Jira instance, along with, let us say, uh, for each and every custom field, if you look at the JSON response, you have the custom field ID. So this custom field ID is amazing because you can use this to do a lot of things. You can, uh, if if you're talking about, let us say, this particular field, which is uh, called as event location. So not only you have the custom field ID, you also have the um, the type of the custom field. So this type is a, is again very important if you're doing something with this particular custom field. Uh, for example, if you are trying to fetch value or values of a select list and based on the based on the value that you that you get using let us say rest api maybe you want to handle it separately so this is this is actually very important when you know the type of the custom field because maybe in your script you have you want to uh, write some logic to handle this particular field separately and th this is of course applicable for not only fetching the information but also to update the the things back to Jira. So this is something that I thought I'll probably talk about uh, today in this video. Uh, and again, if you want to learn how Jira REST API work, works, you can uh, take a look at my videos. I've made plenty of videos on uh, REST API and hopefully 
those videos in case you have no previous experience hopefully those videos will uh, will give you enough background to get started so i think it is all about uh, i mean if you are using the rest api jira cloud if you're on jira cloud or maybe if you're on server if you're using rest api you might not be able to do things in one go and you may not have all the functions i mean there is nothing like function in uh, I mean, the, the thing is that you have, you have REST endpoints. So based on what you want to do, you have to use the correct endpoint because in this case, you have to first make a REST call to fetch the custom field ID or basically based on the name, you have to fetch the ID and then do something with that ID. But if you're on server and if you have access to Jira Java APIs, you can do that using just one direct method because on, on the server version, you have the option to, uh, you have plenty of ways to uh, do things with Jira. But... The short answer is that yes, you can also uh, use the custom field name. And it makes sense if you're using custom field names instead of IDs in your scripts because you can uh, reuse those scripts maybe in multiple instances. Maybe you have written scripts in your uh, test environment. Maybe you have a cloud Jira environment where you just want to test things. But once you are happy, well, once you're happy with the result, you want to copy and paste the script somewhere on your production environment. So if you're using custom field names, then uh, things will always be same. And uh, in that case, of course, you will be fetching the custom field IDs on the fly. The script will take care of it. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.